Hello, Eve here with Frog Prince for you. Welcome to Happy English School. This fairy tale, The Frog Prince, is not very usual for Russian speakers because in our country we've got a frog princess because frog is she and in English it's he. So be careful with translation. Let's begin. Long ago, there lived a king who had beautiful daughters. The youngest one was the most beautiful of them all. They all lived in a very large palace with wonderful gardens around it. There was also a large forest and there, under a tree, was a pond. Often, on a warm day, the little princess went into this forest to play with her ball. It was a golden ball, and it was her favorite toy. She threw the ball and caught it. Sometimes she threw it over the branches of the trees. She liked to watch how high she could throw it. Now it so happened that one day the princess threw it so high that she couldn't catch it, and it fell into the pond. The princess knew the pond was very deep. Her father often told her not to go too near the pond, because it could be dangerous. She sat down and cried. I shall never see my beautiful ball again, she thought. Suddenly, she heard a voice. What's the matter, little princess? Why are you crying? The little princess looked around her and saw a frog. Oh, what do you want, you ugly frog? I've lost my beautiful golden ball forever because it's fallen into the pond. That's not a problem, said the frog. I can easily find it for you. What will you give me if I bring you your golden ball? I will give you all my dresses and my toys, said the little princess. Thank you, but I don't want your dresses and your toys, said the frog. Can I be your friend? Can I sit near you at the palace table? Can I drink from your golden cup and eat from your golden plate? Can I sleep near you in your lovely bed? Oh, yes, yes, I'll do anything if you just bring me my golden ball. The princess thought that the frog could only live near water. How could he come to the palace, she thought. When the frog heard the princess say yes, he jumped into the pond to find the ball. Soon he was there again and the golden ball was in his mouth. He dropped it on the grass next to the princess. She was so happy to have her ball. She threw it again and caught it. She forgot about the frog and started to run home. Wait, wait! said the frog. Please, don't run so fast. I cannot go as fast as you. The princess just didn't want to hear him. She ran through the palace gardens and into the palace and closed the door. What are you doing? her father, the king, asked. The princess told him everything about the golden ball, the pond, and the frog. I don't want the ugly frog to come into the palace, said the princess to her father. I have always taught you to be kind and to do what you say you will do, said her father unhappily. He told her to go and open the door and invite the frog to dinner. 
at dinner, the princess said she really wasn't very hungry and didn't want to eat. The frog was very hungry and thirsty and had a very good meal. The princess just didn't want to eat from the same plate as the frog and certainly she didn't want to drink from the same cup. Will you take me to your bedroom now? said the frog. Oh dear! the princess began to cry. I cannot sleep in bed with a frog. It's too much to ask. I would like to go to bed, said the frog. Please take me there now. No, I will not, said the princess. You will not sleep in my bed. But the king said, remember what the frog did for you and what you said to him. There was only one thing the princess could do. She took the frog to her room where she very quickly dropped him on the floor and went to bed. She could hear the frog. He came nearer to the bed and climbed onto the pillow next to her. The princess was so unhappy that she shouted at the frog to go back to the pond. The frog just said, I will tell your father if you are not good and kind. The princess cried and cried. She cried so much that she fell asleep. Next morning, the frog jumped on the floor and the strangest thing happened. When the princess woke up, she saw in front of her a most handsome young prince. Oh, princess, he said, look at me. I wasn't what I seemed to be. Only you could help me. That's why I waited and waited in the pond for you to come. The princess was so surprised, but now she was very happy. The prince asked again if they could be friends. You can guess that when they were older, they got married and lived happily ever after. The end. I don't know how fair you will find this story, but this is it. And if you found it too easy, you may find adjectives in the story and put them into two more forms, comparative and superlative. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Ugly, uglier, the ugliest. And if you like this video, be sure to like it and share it with your friends. And subscribe, it's free. See you next time. Bye.